Hi guys, Matt here and welcome to my next Matt Plays. Uh, in this case, Matt Plays Game Dev Tycoon. Why am I playing Game Dev Tycoon, you ask? Because my good uh, friend Nozovix, um, who's as good as a friend as you can be without actually ever meeting in real life, um, has started playing this game and I like it. I liked his video and I seen I, I really like the game. I like the build up of the game of uh, Game Dev Tycoon. So um, the problem is I started recording yesterday, but I recorded um, without a video. Um, so that was really rather stupid. Um, so all the footage was like black screen and me talking. And that's even worse than um, just a black screen. So I decided to restart like a new game. And here we go. I can skip the tutorial messages, but I won't. Yeah, welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you... okay. Um, you have been transported back in time. Huh. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Um, welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company. By the beginning of the PC revolution, in the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best selling games, game fans, become the leader of the market. This is very ironic because I will be 35 next month. So, this game is taking back to the year of my birth. Yeah, really. So, um, that is really, really weird. So, let's uh, go on. Uh, I have to give my upcoming company a name. The name, very easy, is Haunted Mouse Studio OS. OS. Haunted Mouse Studies, no. Haunted Mouse Studio. And of course I am. But I are. I'm a dude. Um, this, uh, this. My hair's not that dark. This. And uh, no, no black shirt. Why no? I have to do the, with this with this emo. With this emo pull on there. Okay. Uh, all previous games hints. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Let's play this as if it was new. I hardly remember anything from yesterday anyway. Um, tutorial. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in the help menu. To access the help menu and other features such as saving, loading, and creating a game, simply press escape. To access the main menu. If I press escape, I would escape the main menu. No, no. Oh, anyway. Congratulations, you started your very own game development company. Uh, well, that was easy. At the moment, your office is in a garage and you're the only employee, but don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. So, who put me into the trade register here and I pay the fee? And how did I have 70k in cash? Anyway, let's start developing your first game. Close this message. And click anywhere on the screen, bring up the action menu. Yes. Ah, very nice. Develop new game. Before development can bring you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Okay, options, additional limited. Once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Okay, now the first game, most obviously, is Madness. The topic. I play mystery post apocalyptic and horror? Really? Really? Um, I have to change the title. The, the title is now The Nazi. Uh, the The Nazi. What else? 
The Nozzy Files. Yes, the Nozzy Files. We'll pick Mystery. Mystery Adventure. For the G64. That's probably the common of Forget It PC. Um, it's going to be a graphic adventure. Nothing but best B1. So, um, we're getting like one design and one technology and then the tutorial <laughs> continues, okay? Three stages. At the beginning of each stage you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read the description, please refer to the help menu. Okay. So, well, this is a mystery adventure, so story and press could be really high. And, um... That's okay. It's just going to be my first game, it's going to suck anyway. Um, I will generate game points, which are these strange bubbles popping up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Oh, that's, that's... Wow, a lot of research. My technology is really down. Well, first of all, this is a mystery adventure, so uh, dialogues, very high, level design, and who needs artificial intelligence, there's no... Yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. What, where's my techno technology? Come on, give me technology here. Um, additional features. Right now you can only pick basic sounds. Uh, select additional features means the game gonna be better, but it also increases its cost. I'll also see the graphics type you selected when you define the game. This is to remind you of your choice. You can change the type of graphics mid-game. Okay. So... This is going to be the most awesome game ever to programmed in 8-bit uh, for the PC. Sounds not that important, is it? Uh, yeah. My technology is like six, seven. Look at that command compared to my design. Design is like fifteen. It's almost as high as my research. The development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game. We should only do it once you fix the majority of bugs. Um, yeah, my ratings could be down if I publish with bugs. Well, no news there. Um, here we go. Um, fix bug, fix bug. Anything else? More design. Seriously. So, I'm gonna finish the game now. It's design is double as good as technology. Oh, damn it. Horrible. Yeah. 16 and 8. My engine gameplay story quest is high. Picked. AI is low. The graphic is above 100. All in all, 180. Okay. Release the game. Yes. Uh, reviews and sales should be coming in for the game soon. Critical. Stupid reviewers. The new release, the new release game, the Nazi Fires came in. My guess has got a horrible villain. What? An eight adventure games work well on PC. Star games, enjoyable by informed gamer. Very good by Game Hero. Interesting. And shows potential by all games because all games is always very critical. Yes, we at all games we don't actually like games. Yes, we, we just rate them. We we don't really like them. We want to we won't want you all to, to suffer. Yes, we want you to 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 uh endure endure the, the mockery of us of your of your horrible lifestyle and your poor life choices. Yes, that is why that is why you should have become a farmer or or a, a builder. 
Yes, you should have built walls. That is what you should have done. Build walls. We need more walls. Build up this wall. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights to what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. Generate a game report, close this message, click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Uh, we have just released the first game, The Lossy Files, favorable reviews with such a good start. Hunter Mall Studio is sure to gain fans quickly. Yes, no wonder, The Lossy Files against the dreaded Nazi. You know, the mystery of the dreaded Nazi. Well, it was a place 17 in the charts with my first game. Will you look at that? I told you, The Lossy Files, good, good game. Should be made, should be made. Yes, we will receive the income of the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph on the top right of the screen. Uh, we have 31 fans. 31 fans fighting the Nazi. The Nazi, that is the threat. The threat. Let's see. Um, we can uh, use research. Okay. Okay, just a second here. What's with my mic actually? Something's wrong here. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Hint, try to develop games with different topic and genre combination for a slight research boost. By the way, we still don't like games. Uh, new topic or custom game engine. I don't have the research point. Vocabulary, dungeon, pirate, and movies. None of them really looks effective. Make dungeon. Yes. Make dungeon games. Dungeon games, okay. It's gonna be very interesting. Yes, yes, give me money. I need more money. I have already 80 fans. Unported milestone in the history of Mountain Mars Studio. We sold over 10k units. We, we still don't like you. Uh, yes, I have researched dungeon. Okay, let's put it to the good news. Develop a new game. Um, let's call it, uh, Mads Dungeon, Mads Dungeon, uh, it's a dungeon, it's a dungeon RPG, yeah, dungeon role-playing game, for the PC, yeah, uh, graphics, do it, go, go, no, not a bug in the media. Oh, no, they don't. They, look at that. Design and bugs. No technology whatsoever. So, story quest, yes. Gameplay, yes. Enter, not so much. Yes, more technology. No, not more bugs. I have enough bugs. Bugs are the, the, the bugs are the actual, actual uh, enemies in the dungeon. That's the bugs. Um, let's put the AI a little bit higher, but the level design must be really up, and it's a role-playing game, so dialogues must be up. Let's check this. Should have enough for your man. I nearly got a hundred k. Yes, more technology. God damn it! I need more technology. Uh, sound, all design high, graphic high, sound okay. Sounds not that important. Especially that early on, it's like speaker sound anyway. Yeah, here we go. Come on, 10 technology. It's it's starting. Yes, uh, Nazi Files is now off the market. It sold 1,400 units, creating 103,000 in sales. Yes, fix the bugs. Okay. Yes, more technology. My design is bad. My previous design was better. Work some, work some more on it. Work some more on it. Not bringing anything. Okay. 
the Govodoris G64. Outselling competitors, competitors in the PC sector. Yeah, that one lost. Consumers prefer a lower price, get availability, and flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. I saw a Commodore uh, C64 in my lifetime. I know I did. But I started with the x86 PC. So, IBM. Uh, yeah, this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's finish the game here. Technology isn't bad, but my design isn't as good. Matt's dungeon is not going to be hitting it off as well as uh, as uh, the Nozzy files did. The Nozzy files are really good. You know, um, the Nozzy files. Everyone loves the Nozzy files. Yes, let's see here. Yeah, first reviews are in. There we go. It's okay by Star Games. Told you it's not that good. Has its moments. Uninspiring by Game Hero, yeah. Quirky but good by all games. We love it. We love it because others don't like it and that is good for us. We at all games, we love it when you hate it. Let's see. A Mad's Dungeon, not as good as I hoped it would be. It's okay. Um, let's see, I'm gonna research a new topic now. No. What? Really? That's the topics I can choose? Vocabulary, pirate movies in school? Pirate. At school vocabulary. What? What are you trying to make my company into? I'm not very good at puzzle games. Really not. Really, I have enough money. Yes, research the topic. Pirate. Let's see what. What can I research? History. Can we do something else? We're gonna develop a new game. It's going to be. Post apocalyptic or RPG action? Action. Um, it's a post apocalyptic uh, action game. Post apocalyptic action game by the name of. By the name of. Um, this is hard. This is hard. Uh, Mad Nos Fusion. Mad Nos Fusion. Yes, that is it. It's Mad Nos Fusion. Next. It's going to be a graphics game. Yes. Ninvento. Ninvento. Could I pl get that with uh, extra cream, please? It is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the widely flexible arcade okay, Dinky King. Dinky King. That's Dinky Queen of the Muffins, if I may say so. The big muffin wizard. Oh, that's good. That's a good title. I need to remember. Many experts have doubt that home gaming console will take off. Yeah, I, I really doubt that too. I mean, home gaming consoles, really. It's like going into your living room and doing something else than steadily watching the TV. I mean, who would who would do that? Who would go into your living room and actually interact with the TV? Completely ridiculous. Yes. Good. Act action. Uh, press engine high. Yes. Here we go. More, more, more. Give me more technology. Is okay. Di dialogues. Is good, but artificial intelligence way better. It's an action game. Yes. Oh my gosh, so many bugs. Um. Down a little bit higher. Go. Madness fusion. Is it going to reach the ten? 
Oh, Matt's dungeon only 36,000. That's not so good. Gosh, look at the bugs. So many bugs. Get the bugs out of there. Look at that, it's not a good game. Has confirmed recent rumors and announced that plan to rename the console called TES. Why would you call it TES when the company is called Ninvento? Shouldn't the um, uh, shouldn't shouldn't the company be Nintendo if you would call it the TES? Console featured cartridge base and a uniquely designed controller. Yeah, button mash here. Uh, damn it! Gonna finish this game. Madden of Fusion's gonna suck. It's really gonna suck. Hey, at least gotta level up in dialogues. Uh, yeah, release it. Trash, trash the market. Yes. God, it's going to be so bad. It's okay. Oh my god, this is going to be... Yeah, waste of time. Meh. That word wasn't even invented at that time. It is uninspiring. Not even we can love the game. It is so bad. We Not, not even we have love for it. You should, you should take this... You should take this game and make people play it. In prisons as a punishment. Hmm. I don't like that. Let's let's see what we can learn. Let's see what we can learn about Madness Fusion. Game report. I have potential. I'm the contact in business we could use skills like you. So I have a short and cash, let me know and see if we have can work with me. Jason. Jason your last name is born, I really don't want to work for you. Uh, contracts have now been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Yes, well, at least we get some money for the game. And we learn research. Uh, it's complete. We've got the following results. Pocket action, action is a great combination. Sound is quite important. And the price from game is good. Okay. Game reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Uh, uh, what did we learn about Matt's dungeon? We are still above 100k, so we got some time to do some research. Yes. Our post release analysis of uh, Matt's dungeon is complete. Dungeon and RPG is a great combination. Level design seems to be quite important, and platform general magic is good. Okay. And let's. No, let's uh, research. No, let's generate the game for, for the Nozzy Files, our bestseller. The great one, the Nozzy Files. It was a great game. We all loved it. The Nozzy Files. Are brilliant. Um, post release. Mystery and adventure is a great combination. Dialogue seem very important, and the platform match is great. That's the difference. Okay. So uh, let's see. What can I have to risk? Nothing here. Um. Yes. <laughs> no, no, not even forty k. We need to you need to bring up the boss and meet the buzz again here. Um the Nazi returns. The Nazi returns. The topic is mystery. It's a mystery adventure. Is it a mystery or is it a horror adventure? It's a it's a mystery adventure for the PC. Let's play it safe here. Uh 2D graphics. Yes, do it. Don't program box into my Nazi returns. Sorry, quest. Important. Uh, let's play it like that. Oh, 
Okay, the new game pad from TAS by Nintendo has been released, so I could make game for that, yes? Zero, zero technology, are you serious? Zero technology. Okay, the hints range from plus 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 to minus minus. The kind of important in the area is, what is this, a waiting agency? When uh, hints have question marks at the end, it means that you have insight for a game, but you're not yet sure whether this holds true for this particular game. Okay. So, uh, dialogues must be very important, official intelligence are completely unimportant. Uh, level design is less important. Make it a brilliant dialogue game. So, oh, my first technology point, are you kidding me? This is horrible. This, this is this is bad. Uh, sound not that important. Wall design rather important. Graphics should be better. Now let's do it like this. Here we go. Oh, this is not a good game. Well, fourteen in design is okay, but it's not good. The Nazi returns was trying to get me out of the ditch here. On. Yes, at least 8 and 14. Still not as good as it was. Yes, level up in engine, level up in gameplay, level up in story. Dialogs is already level up. Level design up. Artificial engine I still suck. World design up. Graphic up. And general level up. Good. Um. Damn you. I'm gonna pick. I don't wanna make an airplane simulator. Make a pirate adventure. Pony Island. Pony Island. No, Pinky Island. Pinky Island. Yes. And we'll make it for a PC. Oh, I would have to buy a license to play for an inventor, really? Uh, adventure, as I said. Yeah, next. Yes, 2D graphics. Reviews for the Nazi Returns. You're gonna hate it. Okay, great combination, at least, yeah. We know that already. Has its moments. Work around on PC. Okay, uh, uh, their focus on dialogue served this game very well. He especially liked the guy who was screaming all the time. We liked him. The screaming. We always love to hear the screaming. Design two bucks into the game from the start. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Damn it. Put gameplay up, engine way less, way less. Okay, 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 design, technology. Okay, dialogue's very high. Artificial intelligence very low. Level design a little bit up. Okay. See here. Okay, okay, okay. Five bucks. Sound, really not that important. Graphic, ball design, okay. Let's see. 13 and 10, at least. 13 and 11, okay. 13 and 12. 13 and 13. Come on, 13 and 13 for Pinky Allen. 13 and 13 is good. Yes. New record! New record for technology! Yes! Finally. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna level up here. Oh, I'm leveling up artificial intelligence and sound. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, level up. First reviews for a new release game, Pinky Island! Shows potential! Oh, this looks like high. Very enjoyable by Informed Gamer, yeah, it was, was good to pay, pay for the ad space, wasn't it? Good game. 
Pirate and Adventure is a great combination. We love the pirates. We love the pillaging. We love the looting. Yes, that is our world. We love it. We love to see the world burn. Yep. Um, Pinky Island releasing immediately to a release of 7.5k. And we saw 15,000 units for 109,000 of the Nazi Returns. So the Nazi Returns really did, its, did well. And we already have over 300 fans. Look at that. So let's see what can we do in Generate Game Report. Um, the Nazi Returns just finished, so let's see what we can learn about the Nazi Returns. The recent thing with these TES home console has proven to be a massive success. Sales number has exceeded expectation by far. I love the games that come with the TES and playing with the controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. Yeah, wait until Doom comes around. Yeah, no change. So, uh, graphics seems quite important for for uh, adventure, right? Okay, Pinky Island. We have. We already have over twenty five thousand units of Pinky Island being sold. Pinky Island is a huge success. Uh, Pirate and Adventure is a great combination. Sounds not very important. That's why I didn't put much focus on it. So we get 82. So let's see. We can research. We can research custom game and do that. Do it. Research it. Yes, find out what game engine it will be. 76,000 units for 185,000 in sales. Best game of my of my uh, company so far. Great. Yeah, you see, if you pick Pinky over Nazi, you get great games. Uh, we successfully researched the custom game engine. Okay, great human game and closest measuring thing anywhere. Game tutorials and mono sounds are researchable. Okay, let's see here. Yes, start research for mono sounds. Mono sound, mono sound. This is a big breakthrough. Big breakthrough. Mono sound. Yes, mono sound. You have first research your first engine port. To able to be used in your game, you need to create a new engine which includes this port, and then you can go to Alpha Centauri and win the game. Maybe that was another game. Uh, we can research game tutorials, which we will do because we have the cash. We are still on two hundred thousand. Recent studies regard the increasing variety of gaming devices that create a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater for the more mature age groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. Target audience as a research available. We don't have a research point. Don't forget creating custom game engines. This will improve your games a lot. You can create your custom engine during the action menu once you have researched the custom engine. Okay, we will do so. Okay. Okay. We have successfully researched game tutorial. Okay, let's do one more and then we're gonna go for a break here. I yeah, I don't I don't have the research points for okay. I'm gonna Develop a new game. My topic will be horror. It will be a horror. Horror RPG. Or action. Horror action. And the platform will be PC. Uh, Shadow of the North. Shadow of the North. Big F. There are now rumors circulating that Vina, Vina, another Japanese company, plan to release a home gaming console. Vina? Sega? Um. 
This is how our action, so engine, very high. Story quests, way less. Do this. Stop with the bugs. Um, very high. Not so much. Not so much. We don't make it like a scream, but we still want we still want dialogues, but we don't not not focus so much on them. Just make it snappy, make it quick. Hmm? Oh, yeah, well, this is a horror game, so sound should be very important. Graphic tool, well design really not so. Thirteen and thirteen, that's not bad. Fourteen and thirteen. Vina has confirmed recently oh god, this is, this looks horrible. And announced a Master V. Master S? Is it Sega? The company claims that Master V is technically superior to the Master V Circuit PS Man Inventor and plans to release it in the coming month. Looks completely like the uh, NES, except for that horrible eighties seventies, eighties design. Yes, bugs are out. 14 and 13, 15 and 13, 16, 17 and 14, 18 and 14. This is going to be released now. Shadow of the North. Let's see how this is going. New record on both. Yes. Yeah, no level ups here. Yeah, here we go. Release the game. I wouldn't trash my best game ever. First release, Shadow of the North, came in. This looks good. Nine! Can't wait for the sequel! Great game by Inform Game. Look at that! It's a hit! Very good by Game Hero. It's a nice experience, but we cannot rate it as high as the others because we are not scared. This is a horror game. This is a horror game. You wanna see true horror? You wanna see true horror? Come to our editing room. That is true horror. Okay. So, this is smashing into the market. With a 12.k sale of the first day. This is very good. Rank 11 at the first day. That is great. So, um, yeah, let's see. We're gonna save this now. Yeah, here we go. And uh, we're gonna see each other when we see each other next time. Bye.